In this video we are installing a front cover and gear train on a C11 engine. First thing we're going to do is put the front cover on and check that we have all the right bolts, length and size. The housing needs to be sealed to the engine so it doesn't leak out oil. You can either use the steel gasket or just straight gasket sealant. We've gone with the gasket for this one. It's important that the housing and the engine be clean of any oil or debris. To achieve this I'm using a lint free cloth and brake cleaner. You need to keep wiping until all the dirt is removed. This can take several goes. Caterpillar says that you can use gasket sealant Loctite 518 instead of a gasket but on this we're going to use the gasket and we're going to use this Permatex. Normally you wouldn't put sealant on a gasket, you'd use one or the other but if you want to put sealant on a gasket, this is the stuff to use. This sealant doesn't harden, it gives you plenty of working time and if you ever disassemble, it's the easier one to clean off. You just paint it on with a brush that comes with it and it self levels so you don't have to worry about forming a bead. Once you've coated both sides of the gasket, install the gasket onto the engine and then put the front housing on. Install your bolts and then tighten to 28 newton meters. Part of installing the front housing is you need to install the camshaft. So we wipe that down so it's nice and clean. Put assembly lube on the cam channels and on each of the cam bearings. That's the cam tunnel there, all lubed up from the back. I didn't film putting the camshaft in because I needed both hands and to concentrate. This is the thrust plate, it's got four holes in it and it bolts through the housing into the engine so we need to put them on. You should be able to move the thrust plate and the gear so you can put all four bolts in at once. See it's in position there, I can get all four bolts in and then you put them in and torque them up to 35 newton meters. Then put the front engine support on four bolts each side torque to 120 newton meters and that's the front housing installed and torqued up now we need to check the end play on our cam shaft with the magnetic stand position like so and the dial gauge set to zero we push the gear and cam back and forth until we get a consistent reading we're getting about 0.17 of a mil. The maximum permissible end play was 0.46 of a mil and the minimum was 0.05 if everything was brand new so we're well in spec. There was four different camshaft sizes and different specs for each one so make sure you get the right one when measuring it. In the installing crankshaft video I didn't film me measuring the end play on the crankshaft. Usually you do it as soon as you torque the main caps of the crank down. Uh, I did it, I just didn't film it, so I'm just doing it now again just to show you. You put your pry bar between the main caps and the counterweights of the crank and just gently, you only need to gently uh, pry it back and forth and just set your gauge up like that. That's just past zero. And our end play is 0.3 of a mil. And we're allowed between 0.1 and 0.5 for this crank so we're right on the money. You can set your dial gauge up on the flywheel side or the uh, gear side doesn't matter. Next we have to put the idler gear in between the crank and the cam. This actually times the engine so you got to get this right it's pretty easy. Um, get a blue marker pen and mark your gears, it'll make it a lot easier for you. So on the crank side it's got a V and on the idler gear it's got a V as well, Let's paint that. And then on the other one, on the cam, it's got a circle and another V. So just paint those both, just like I did, so you don't get confused. Got to put a bit of assembly lube on the, on the idler gear there and, and put the shaft, little stub shaft on. Make sure you lube your holding bolt for the idler gear. It's got no washer, so I'll put a bit of lube around the bottom of the head as well. 
just to help get a good torque and you just put that idler gear in match up your teeth you might have to move the crank or the camera in a little bit um, when you per first put the idler in just to make sure it's right and give it a bit of a shake you should have a little bit of backlash there I couldn't find a measurement for it but when you put gears together like that you should always check for backlash you should you should have a bit of free play in there uh, that one talks to 460 newton meters that's a 20 mil bolt and there's another idler gear on the other side this one's not timed or anything it runs the water pump and the oil pump it's got a m16 bolt which talks to 240 newton meters give it a rattle when you got it torqued up make sure it's got backlash and that's it front housing installed camshaft in engine timed ready for the next step make sure you subscribe guys so you don't miss any of these videos i'm putting them up weekly as fast as i can if you have any questions leave them in the comment section don't be scared to ask and if you liked the video give it a like and subscribe thanks guys